Hi boys and girls. God bless you. It's been a long time that I haven't come on to say hello or say hi or, or anything. So I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know that I've been praying for you and I miss you guys so, so much. And, um, and I've been working really hard to try to get those YouTube uh, videos so you can see every Sunday. And uh, on the webpage, if you go to newlivedallas.org, there's a children's page. And on that page, there's a lot of activities for your family, for you. There's a family devotional. There's worksheets for the children's church activities. And I really, really want you to go to the, um, the church webpage so you can see what's going on also in there. But I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, remind you that this Sunday is Mother's Day. And I wanted to work with a project with you um, so that way you can make your mom something very special that's made from your little hands, okay? So one of the first things that I wanted to show you is just a project uh, to color, to paint. And, um, and so maybe you can get an adult to help you uh, do this for your mom or for your grandma or for somebody special in your life that's, that helps you and that's a part of your life. And so uh, if you can paint them something very pretty and, uh, and write your name on it and the date, what year. Remember to always put the year that you do it. If it's, if it's um, May the, the 6th, 2020. It's really important that you write the, the year and the date so that way you can remember how old you were and what year you made it. And so uh, on there you can write Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Just so many things you can draw or, or do. Just be creative. Use your imagination. Think of things that she enjoys and loves and um, and likes to look at and so you do it for her you draw it out and paint it and color it and it you know it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of stuff just a piece of paper and your colors and your markers and just uh, be creative do do something like that that's one of the projects another one is to get a little notebook a little spiral notebook and then I want you to write on the front I want you to write on the front with a Sharpie. You know what a Sharpie is? Something that's permanent. With a Sharpie, write Mother's Day coupons, okay? And so when you do that, inside you're going to take the time and think of things that you can give your mom and you write them out. And if you need help from your dad or from or from an adult or somebody else, but not your mom. Don't show it to your mom, okay? Get somebody else to help you. So for instance, here, a night off from cleaning the kitchen. And so she's gonna come in here and say, you know what, she's gonna tear this page out. She's gonna tear this page out and she said, I want this coupon. And so you're gonna have to clean the kitchen or another one a a chore of your choice so something that she wants you to do some chore around the house and she's gonna tear it out and she's gonna say boom here I want you to do it and so you be creative another one could be uh, breakfast in bed and you write it out and you you put your name on it okay because there might be several of you and so all of you can can write lots and lots of coupons. Look at this, wow! Lots of coupons and put, you can put, um, I'm gonna put on the, on the video at the end some ideas of things that you can write. But you think about things. You think about things that your mom enjoys for you to help her with. So for instance, um, a big hug. She wants a big hug or uh, to clean your room or a day off or a night off or even maybe things like um, to have the control of the TV it's her turn and she wants the TV control 
and she don't want you to interrupt her for you to change it to your channel or for dad or for somebody else to change the channel uh, or how about to vacuum the house or to sweep and mop or oh just so many many ideas that you can write in this little coupon book but let's say you can't go to the store and you don't find a little book and this was just something I had at, in the house and so um, you can get a piece of paper, just a blank piece of paper, and you fold it in half like this, fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again, fold it in half, and now you have some squares, right? Well, and then you get, where are my scissors? Oh, I had all my stuff here. There they are. So then you get your scissors and on those on those lines where you where you made, you cut them. You cut those squares out really nice and pretty. You cut, cut, cut. And this is just a regular piece of paper, typing paper, copy paper. Okay, you cut them out. You cut them out. Mm-hmm. Now you have four sheets, right? So now on these sheets, you're going to write. You're going to write any other, other things that you want to put for a coupon, okay? And so, like I said, you can put a day off. A day off, no fighting. How about that? How about if you and your siblings are always fighting and arguing? You put a day off, no fighting. And so you make all these coupons and you put your name on it. You put your name, like right down here, you would put, I would put Sandra, right? I put my name. And you give all these to your mom and you say, Mom, whenever you feel that you need a coupon and you need a day off or you need one of these things that I put on here. You give it to me and I will do it. So that is the project, the activity for Mother's Day. Okay, it's just two little projects. I think the coupon book would be a really great idea or for sure, something special made from you, a painting, a drawing that, that you made with your own little hands and put the date on it. And on the coupons, there's no dates. It's any day, any day of the year, she can use them. And uh, so boys and girls, make time for your mom this, this Sunday. This Sunday's Mother's Day. Make time for her. Tell her how much you love her. Tell her how much you care for her and that you love her for everything that she does. And take time to tell her that every day, not just on Mother's Day, every day, okay? So you guys be good, be careful, be safe. Have a great weekend with your moms or with your grandmas. And just uh, remember to, um, to read your Bible, to pray every day, and to spend time with the Lord. Okay? We'll see you later. Bye-bye.